products and nation services, and welcome to a lifetime of healthy adventure wherever you go in the world. Today, let's learn about malaria. Malaria is an infectious disease, which is sometimes fatal. It is an international health problem, causing 350 to 500 million infections, and causes millions of deaths annually. Malaria is mainly transmitted by mosquitoes. You can also get malaria by receiving infected blood or organs. Mosquitoes are nocturnal, so bites occur between dusk and dawn. There are certain risk factors that increase the likelihood of a person getting malaria. One of the risk factors is the area that one is traveling to. For example, West Africa is a high-risk area because these insects have developed resistance against insecticides, thus increasing in population. Another risk factor are first and second generation immigrants living in non-endemic countries who then return to the country of origin. Another risk factor is that a person who has had malaria can still get malaria even though they were treated for it. Some symptoms of malaria include fever, chills, sweats, headache, body ache, nausea, and fatigue. There are some methods to help prevent the transmission of malaria. These include medication and skin protection. Before treating a patient who has been infected with malaria, there are certain criterion that determine which treatment is best suited. These include which parasite the person has been infected with, which areas that have drug resistance, pregnancy, and allergies. The first type of medication that can be given is doxycycline. This medication is good for last minute travelers and it is inexpensive. This medication is to be taken daily. The second type of medication that can be given is mefloquine. This medication is good for long trips and can be used during pregnancy. This medication is to be taken weekly. The third type of drug that can be given is malarone. This medication is taken daily and it is good for last minute travelers, short travels, and it is well tolerated with minimal side effects. The best repellent to use is DEET products, either long acting or greater than 30% or a straight 100% DEET. If you do not want to use DEET, another choice is picaridin, at least 20% or greater. The best protection for clothing is to use either a permethrin spray or soak. Permethrin is an insecticide that is safe for humans but deadly for insects. The other preventive item to use is bed netting. These are very useful during the night, especially if you do not want to wake up every few hours to check if you were bitten or not. These netting provide a sense of relief and give you comfort and knowledge that no bugs will bite you in the night. To find out which preventive method will best suit you and your traveling needs, contact Advantage Vaccination Services. Here's how. To schedule an appointment and start entering data into our electronic record, visit us at www dot advantage vaccination dot com. Click on the tab, invite yourself for a visit, and you'll be on your way to getting prepared for your visit. And when you want to visit us, Advantage Vaccination Services is located at 8283 Grove Avenue, Suite 107 in Rancho Cucamonga, in the heart of Southern California. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to meeting you and hearing about your journey. After you visit our office, we guarantee you'll be prepared with knowledge, vaccination, and tools to make your trip healthy and memorable. See you soon!